Hey folks, it's a bit windy out here today. I think we need to continue this video indoors. What do you think? Good idea? Okay, now where were we? Bro, gee, it's windy out there today. Gee, I'm gonna make sure I don't park under any trees. So let's get on with it. <clears throat> so what's inspired my video today? I've been watching a lot of videos by a guy or a YouTuber called Alexander Grace. Now, I don't, I, I was originally gonna direct this video specifically to him, but his channel is so big and my channel is so microscopic. Not, not that it's a big deal to me because I've passed the age where I need validation for my worth on this planet. So it, it doesn't bother me how big my, my, um, channel is or how many subscribers I have following me or whatever it, it's not really I just enjoy sharing my point of view and I just welcome those who watch it and take part in my in my little existence here on my humble little existence anyway so um I've been watching a lot of his videos and um I want to so illustrate my my points and my opinion now I'm a little bit hesitant to sort of putting my 10, 10 pence worth only because I don't represent the average guy of my of my age. So a lot of things that apply to me will not apply to a lot of guys, especially my age, out there. However, I still think my case is something to consider. And the point of this video is for you young guys watching, I may be part of of what's coming for you. My experience for somebody out there, you know, it'll, it'll make some relevance to you because like I said, the example of, of me is a good possibility of what may be, what may come to you. Okay. So, so that's, that's me. So let's talk about, um, Alex video and my points. So, if you watch his, if you watch his videos, Alex Grace, he has some fascinating to uh, topics. I love his street interviews. He, he interviews women and he, his motive or his objective is to give guidance to men understanding the psyche of women, which I think is really great. I mean, I've learned a lot from it and you know, hence the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, there you go. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Anyway. The one current theme I seem to notice in his videos and a lot of videos like his is the value that is placed on women. And when you get to my age, I'm 55 now, but in a few weeks, I'm going to be 56. Today's the 10th of August. My birthday is on the 21st of August. So you could send me a happy birthday if you remember the, the, the dates on that Wednesday. Anyways, I digress. So the worth of a woman. Now, what a woman is worth to me now at 56 compared to what a woman was worth to me when I was 20, 26 is two different kind of values. Now, before I make my point, let me just make something very clear and I may have to throw in a bit of an apology. I'm only speaking the truth. I'm only speaking on my, about the opinions and how I've arrived at my opinions. I am in no way am I showing off or bragging or try to be come across full of myself. If I do come across that way, I apologize. Some of the things I'm going to say may come across as very offensive. And I let me make this clear. My aim is not to offend anybody or make anybody feel bad. I'm only just expressing my opinions. Okay. So please bear that in mind and if I have if I do if I do offend anyone please accept my humble apology right now because that was not my intention anyway let's get on with it so his interviews <clears throat> tend, tend to be based on what women are looking for and what they want which is good and it's good to know this but the question that comes comes to me when I watch these videos is, okay, you pretty young women are emphasizing what you want and what you attract, what, what attracts you and so forth and this, the other. But from my point of view, from where I'm sitting, I'm asking a question, okay, 
So what are you, pretty young thing, bringing to the table? What are you bringing that's going to make somebody want to stay and be with you? And I tend to notice there's not very much answer or acknowledgement of that. The other thing I seem to notice, there seems to be this emphasis on obtaining or getting a hot chick. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I've said this before. I appreciate and admire beauty just as much as any other man. But my value on it seems to be a lot lower than a lot of you young guys. Now, I could only assume this must be an age thing. I've got to keep an eye on the time because I've got to be somewhere. Okay, I've still got a bit of time. Right, is I tend to think it's an age thing because I notice a lot of the YouTube audience and a lot of YouTube makers who are under 30, their emphasis or the reason reasoning to get a hot chick seems to be, it seems to be motivated by the impressions of what other people may think. In other words, they seem to care about what other people think is what is on their arm. Now, we all do that to a certain degree. I mean, of course, I'm not going to, I'm not going to walk down the road with a woman who looks unkept and looks totally untidy and looks a state. Of course, you know, I, you know, I have some pride. <laughs> I have some standards. So I, I'm not totally immune of, of it myself, but I'm just saying my standard is a lot lower. My stand, not standards, my value. <laughs> And the reason why I laugh is I know what some of my friends would say if they heard me say that. My value is a lot lower. <laughs> my value is a lot is lower, lower. Now, let me, let me get to my points. Now, let me make my point in this out. <clears throat> Without sounding big headed, I have seen some, seen and experienced some pretty wild stuff in my life. And the reason why I've experienced some pretty wild stuff is what I have done in the past, I have worked as a podium dancer or a cage dancer, dancing in nightclubs, entertaining people uh, in, in, in a cage next to a DJ. So it's otherwise known as a podium dancer. I've worked as a podium dancer and I have worked as a male stripper and professional dancer, which has put me in line and put me in places to experience things that the average man would not experience. I've performed in swingers clubs, I've performed in fetish parties, and I've been involved in lots of wild sorts of things. Now, bearing in mind, I'm not the best looking guy, I'm not the youngest guy. I'm in fucking good shape, but still, I'm not the hottest guy in town, and I have no problems with that. This very back, this backs the point I'm making. So if a guy like me has peaked in my sexual activities a long time ago so a woman she needs for, for her to impress me she needs to be coming with a lot more than pussy and good looks to to wow me so if that is me who's not the hottest guy in town how much more so for a guy who's hotter than me who has more choices how much more so would she need to wow him to keep her with him and this, and, so, and this is where the value thing comes into. Because, see, after all my crazy adventures, what I seek in a woman now is a lot more deeper and a lot more higher in terms of what you want to call it, spirituality or, or, or soul or whatever. She needs to become a lot, whole lot more than eye candy or arm trophy and a wet pussy. Regardless what I have, if I became, because I'm working on a few projects, so let's say my projects kick off and they sell worldwide and I become a millionaire three months from now. Nothing would have changed where I'm concerned. They still need to bring more than a hot, than a hot face, hot body and pussy. That, those things don't, they, they, they don't phase me because without sounding cruel, when it comes to getting laid, I can get laid no problem and the reason why I'm not in a big hurry or don't get me wrong I love sex I enjoy, I, I, I enjoy sex but the reason why I'm not so blown away by it is because from my point of view what the average woman will bring sexually 
It's nothing out in the ordinary. It's nothing, nothing that I, I, I wouldn't, it's kind of fairly predictable. And nine times out of 10, it's, it's nothing, it's, it's no, it's no major wow moment compared to what I have experienced in the past. So the sex side of things, it, it's what the average woman chances are, what she'll bring to the table is no big deal for me. I could take it or leave it. It's really no, I'm, I'm not trying to be cruel or big headed here. So do you see what I mean? And now in terms of getting a hot chick, like I said, I, to me, it's two, there's two reasons why I want to put my, my penis inside a woman. One, the opportunity has risen that I can get my end away and put in some nice warm jelly. Right. Or two, I am blown away by that woman and I really fancy the pants of her and I really want to talk to her. And the reason why I fancy the pants of her has got nothing to do with what you think of her. I couldn't give a flying fuck what you think of her. I care about what I think of her because as far as I'm concerned, I'm the one getting my dick sucked and I don't, I'm not thinking about you when a head is going up and down at the end of my penis. So you, your opinion don't give, don't mean shit to me. So I am only concerned what do I like? What do I like about her? And what can we do for each other? That's only my concern. So by default, in my eyes, she will be hot. I don't care whether you find her hot. I couldn't give a flying fuck. So that's the difference between me and a lot of you, a lot of you guys. You tend to care what other people think about what is on your arm. And like I said, I care to a degree, but not as much as you. It's not so high up in a, it's not so high up in my list. Anyway, um, so like I said, I don't represent the average guy. So my experience may not be rep that wide scale up there. However, it's still something to consider. Anyway, um, I need to get going because I've got to be somewhere. And I, yeah, it's, yeah, I better start wrapping this up. Right. So I hope. My little feedback has been of some kind of help um, and I hope it shows that, you know, there is um, life after 30, you know, so um, there we are. Thank you for more watching my video. I don't take your time for granted. And if you haven't watched Alex Grace's channel, watch his channel. It's a fantastic channel. The street interviews he does are absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.